hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all your support i hope you guys are doing well today i'll be making a lovely dress i'll be using two fabric for it plain fabric and african print plain fabric is two yards by 45 and this is one yard by 45 i folded this fabric with her biggest measurement which is her hip measurement her hip measurement is 37 37 divided by 4 is 9.25 this is for the back, it's folded into two, and the front is folded into two also. Quarter of her biggest measurement is 9.25, plus two and a half inches seam allowance, 11.75, but I have more than that. The full length of the dress is 38 inches, but what I have here is 33.5. From this starting line, I have 33.5, 33 inches for the dress and half inch seam allowance to join it to the lower part. So I have 33.5. I will use five and a half inches to make it up. What I have here, to, I will join it at the lower part. What I have is seven and a half inches, half inch to join it to the dress and one and a half inches to fold the hem. This is center front line. This is for the front. I have extra one and a half inches on this side for overlap. You can use up to two and a half inches, but I have one and a half inches. All the measurements will start from this line. The length of the dress is 38 inches, but what I have here is 33 inches plus seam allowance to join it to the lower part. I have 33 and a half. From this starting line to the length of the dress is 33 and a half. 33 inches plus half inch to join it to the lower part. From starting line to this line is 9 inches, half of a round arm hole. From starting line to this line is waist line, 16 inches. From starting line to this line is hip line, 24 inches. And from starting line to this line is 33 and half inches. 33 inches for the dress and half inch to join it to the lower part. This front pattern, from starting line to this line is her bust point, 10 inches. From starting line to this line is half length, 16 inches. This is starting line. Starting line. So I'm going to mark her shoulder measurement. Her shoulder measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Plus half inch seam allowance is 8 and half. I'll mark 8 and half. From this shoulder measurement, I'll come down by one inch for shoulder slant. I'll mark one inch. I'll mark neck width of three inches and neck depth of one inch. And neck depth of one inch for the back. I'll connect it. I'll connect this one inch to neck width, shoulder slant. Here I'll mark eight and a half. The same measurement. Our bust measurement is 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches. Her waist measurement is 32. 32 divided by 4 is 8 inches. Her hip measurement is 37. 37 divided by 4 is 9.25. Going to add seam allowance and ease allowance. You can use one inch for ease, one and a half inches for ease, or two inches for ease, but I will use one and a half inch for ease and one inch seam allowance, which is two and a half. So I'm going to add two and a half inches, one and a half inches for ease, and one inch seam allowance, two and a half inches. 
two and half inches half inches two and half inches the same measurement that i have here i'll mark it at the lower part I'll connect it. I'm going to get the midpoint. I'll curve the armhole for the back. I'm going to cut it. But I'll add half in seam allowance on this part. To join the shoulder i added half inch seam allowance i'm going to cut it on seam allowance line i will remove the back one this is for the front to connect the neckline from this side this is bust point and this is waistline you can come down by two inches or three inches. So, but I'll check what I have here. I have six inches. So, I'll use half of it. Midpoint, three inches. I'll use three inches. Another thing you can do, if you don't have all this mark on your pattern, if you forget to mark it, what you do is just to measure, because what I'm using now from the starting line is 13 inches. 10 inches plus 3 is 13 inches. So you can measure from here, you measure 12 inches plus this is 13. So you can use 13 inches. You can even use more. So now I'm going to connect it. I'm going to connect it to this point. So I'll cut it on this line. I'll also cut this into two. So I'm going to cut it. You will trim the front armhole. To trim the front armhole, you will get the midpoint coming by 0 0.75, connect it, then you will trim it off. After that, you will cut this into two. This is for the front and this is for the back. This is for sleeve. Her sleeve length is 23 and a half. What I have here is 19 and a half. I have one inch seam allowance. I have 18 and a half and one inch seam allowance. Half inch, half inch. I will use this to make it up. I have seven inches. I will use half inch to join it and one and a half inches to hem it. So after stitching, this part will be five inches. I'm going to stitch it together. I'll put it this way, right side together. I'll stitch it using half inch seam allowance. This is basic sleeve. I'll put a link in the description on how to cut basic sleeve, long sleeve basic sleeve. This is cap height. You will measure half of your rant armhole on this line, 
has is 9 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance, 10 inches. I will use the same measurement that I have here. I will use it on this side to the end. If you want it bigger, you will fold more fabric. On this side, you can mark half inch, one inch, or one and a half inches and connect it to this line and connect it to this point. But I will use it this way. So I'll cut out the sleeve. I will stitch it on this seam allowance. This is the belt. I have 125 inches by four and half inches. 125 by four and half. I put it this way. I use quarter of an inch to stitch it to the midpoint. I stitch it to this point. I leave space here so that I'll bring it out from here. So after stitching, I have two inches. I have two inches, but you can make yours bigger than this. So this is for the front. This is for the back. What I'll do next is to make up the length. I'll use this to make up the length. I have seven and a half inches, half inch to join it to this, and one and a half inches to hem it. I'll put it this way, right side together. Right side together. I'll stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on the front. After that, I'll join the front and the back together at the shoulder line using half inch seam allowance. Right side. Right side together. I'll stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I've stitched the front and the back together. This is the wrong side of the fabric, right side. What I'll do next is to stitch the side using one inch seam allowance. One inch seam allowance. After stitching the two sides, I will cut this for the dress, for the neckline. You will measure from center back. You will notch your center back. You will measure from your center back to the end. How many inches you have, you will multiply it by 2. If you have 44 inches, you multiply it by 2, which is 8, eight inches. You will cut out 8, eight inches by 5 inches. I have five inches. I also have lightweight interfacing on it. So I'll fold it this way. Two and a half inches. I'll use half inch seam allowance to stitch it to the dress. I've stitched the side. I also overlock and press it. What I'll do next is to stitch this to the dress. I'll get the midpoint. I'll fold it. This is the right side of the fabric. I'll pin it at the midpoint, back neckline, midpoint. You will notch it. I'll stitch it from this back neckline, the midpoint, to the end of the dress using half inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on this side. So I'll fix the band, the sleeve. I hem the lower part. I also overlock it and give it a good press. You can wear it as a kimono jacket. You can wear it as wrap dress. If you want to wear it as a dress, only wrap dress, you can get a stripe like this. You will stitch it on your tiny stripe or ribbon. You will stitch this on your waistline on this side. On the waistline. You will also stitch this on the waistline on this side. 
on the seam. So that you will tie it first. Before you will not tie the belt. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.